Welcome back to Health District Television. I'm Brian Gresh. The district's Stephanie Bethel is here now with a look at how to dispose of prescription medications responsibly. Stephanie? Thanks, Brian. Most of us probably have expired or partly used prescriptions in our medicine cabinets. Perhaps we even have some belonging to other people, children who've moved away from home or maybe a relative who has died. Our first instinct might be to flush them or throw them in the trash, but those options are difficult on the environment, the water supply, and possibly even to wildlife. So likely we do nothing and the cabinet continues to fill up. Many of the most prescribed medications are also highly desired by drug abusers who might be your teen or his friends. What we're finding is that one out of every 12 high school seniors in 2009 utilize Vicodin, a narcotic, illegally. For without medical prescription or, or, or not, not for medical use. Also, one out of 20 uh, seniors used the potent narcotic uh, oxycodone for without medical purposes or medical use. It's a public health issue for several different reasons. The first one is because ultimately we want to protect our environment um, and having those products around and ha not having them disposed of properly can get into our water systems. Um, so that's definitely something that we want to prevent. But also having unused medications in our homes is actually one of the leading causes of um, drug abuse in children. 289 people last year in Clark County died of prescription overdose. 289 people, that's more people that died of prescription overdose than died of uh, methamphetamine, cocaine, and heroin overdoses combined in Clark County. In order to reduce the availability of prescription drugs that can be abused, the DEA recently held an event where meds could be turned in anonymously, no questions asked. Metro facilitated the program here in the Valley. We're looking at Operation Take Back. It's a nationwide operation that the Drug Enforcement Administration, along with its uh, about 3,000 partners across the nation, law enforcement partners, are, uh, it's an operation in which we are taking back, uh, gathering uh, med medication that people want to surrender over to law enforcement. We took in 1,600 pounds in Nevada last year of, of uh, prescription medication. Uh, nationally last year, uh, we took in uh, 224,000 pounds. So you look at 100, uh, 112 tons of pills were taken in last year nationally. Medications that are surrendered are incinerated in an environmentally friendly way. But in these challenging financial times with the cost of prescriptions, what about those who want to save money by storing medications or using ones left over from other household members? It could be a misguided case of misplaced frugality. Most medications, once they expire, are not toxic, but some medications like doxycycline or tetracycline, they actually become toxic after they expire. Um, the major issue with expired medications is decrease in efficacy. So ultimately, if you have an expired medication, it's not going to be as effective as if you use it when it's within its, um, its indicated time range. I would also like to say that uh, Las Vegas Metro has taken boxes at every station that people can drop off medications throughout, throughout the year during uh, work hours. And so they can, you don't have to wait for an operation like this to have Operation Take Back to occur. So I think it's a great thing that uh, Las Vegas Metro has it. My understanding is that Henderson PD may be having these boxes in the very near future as well. Another example of more and more community partners coming online to make Southern Nevada a healthier place. Especially now during uh, dwindling, dwindling resources, limited resources, we've got to, you know, not only we've got to work smarter, work harder, but more importantly, we have to work together.